Guys, as we all know, Kang the Conqueror is on his way to try to conquer the MCU, starting with Ant-Man and the Lost Quantumania next month. And while this is exciting, there's a theory that's been going around that has me even more excited, and that is that Kang may actually have a connection to the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is one of my favorite movies of all time. At the end of that film, we see he's taking the rings to Wong and the Avengers to study. And basically, they come up with nothing. Except learning that the rings were sending out a beacon to someone. And many people believe that that someone is Kang the Conqueror. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings revealed that no one actually knew where the Ten Rings came from. They just knew that they were very ancient, gave the wielder unbelievable strength and immortality, and that they weren't from the planet Earth. And according to Dr. Banner, they don't even match any alien origins the Avengers have ever encountered before, which leads many people to believe that the Ten Rings actually came from the Quantum Realm, specifically Kang City, Chronopolis. And if you take a look at Chronopolis, you can see the city seems to be supported by these massive rings with strange inscriptions on them. That's very similar to the Ten Rings that the Mandarin wore. When I heard that and I thought about it, I'm like there are a lot of clues sprinkled around that makes this theory make sense. Wen Wu was an absolute beast with the Ten Rings. He had them for a thousand years, but even he didn't fully understand them. If they do belong to Kang and he's the creator, imagine how much destruction he could cause with them. We know that there was a multiversal war eons ago according to Kang's variant, He Who Remains. And eons ago matches up with Dr. Banner's statement about the rings being older than the thousand years that the Mandarin had. After the multiversal war, He Who Remains could have took the rings and threw them away on Earth millions of years before intelligent life had rose up. But unfortunately, when humans did come around, at some point, a man named Wen Wu found them kept them for himself, and conquered empires just as Kang did. This is all just speculation and theories, but if it's true, that would be the coolest way to connect things ever. That, that'd be the coolest way they could have connected all this. It would also put Shang-Chi and his family's legacy at the forefront of all this, which again is fine by me, because I love these characters and this part of the MCU. Wong told him that his life would be forever changed from this point on, but not even he could be prepared for taking on a time-traveling warlord who wants his rings back, if they belong to him. Just like Thanos was in search of the Infinity Stones, Kang could be coming for the Ten Rings and Kamala Harris's bangle, which was found in a Ten Rings temple. A lot of people's gripes with Phase 4 is that it feels like nothing is really connected. But I think that if you really pause, pay attention, look at things closely, really analyze this, you can see there are little details sprinkled out here and there. Just the fact that Kamala Harris's, or whatever her name is, just the fact that her bangle comes from a temple that belongs to the Ten Rings gang. It's like that just kind of brings everything full circle. The Ten Rings has had their foot in the MCU literally since 2008 with Iron Man 1. If, however, none of this is true though about Kang and his connection to the Ten Rings, that would be kind of disappointing because all of this does make a lot of sense and it would be cool to see Shang-Chi and his sister as leads in the Kang Dynasty movie. But at the very least, we know that the Ten Rings will return anyway, so they're going to be working with the Avengers anyway. Guys, let me know what you think about this theory. Right now, all we can do is wait for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and see how that story reveals more about Kang and what he's after. The more layers peeled back, the more exciting things are getting. And I'm here for it. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of all this? Kang the Conqueror, the Ten Ring, Shang-Chi, how it could all connect, or how none of it connect. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.